So for those of you that have been following the treadle lathe project, you'll know that my crank mechanism was made out of an offset block. And that connects the steel shaft for the flywheel and the offset of the crank over to the, uh, the pedal mechanism. And unfortunately, I was using the lathe yesterday and this failed. And I guess deep down, I thought that it might eventually fail, but I didn't think it would happen quite this fast. And what I mean by failing is that I'm getting some twist um, in the actual mechanism here. So when I'm pedaling, instead of the energy going into the uh, flywheel, I'm getting some movement on the mechanism. And what has happened is, is that the pins that I placed through the steel in the offset block have unfortunately failed. I put these screws in and they actually go into the crank or into the steel um, about a quarter of an inch. And they have held okay, but I also had pinned it from two different directions as well. So three directions total. And this piece broke and so did this one. I'm not sure how well you can see that in the camera, but the the pin that I had going through this hole actually broke off into the steel shaft and that's allowing it to move a little bit even under just hand pressure. In Steve Smeck's book, Make Your Own Treadle Lathe, in which I've used as a reference, he described using both the offset block and also the uh, bent crank option. And I tried this, I actually originally tried to bend the crank um, using a propane torch and I just couldn't get it hot enough to bend it. So after having this failure yesterday, I decided to go ahead and get that crank bent thinking this would be mo much more of a permanent fix. So this is the replacement. And as you can see, there is a quarter, an inch and a quarter inch offset now with a crank and it's one solid steel piece. And that goes into the axle of the flywheel. I didn't have the equipment to bend the steel with. So I went down to my local machine shop whom I, I've used before for some other projects and they were able to bend this for me using an acetylene torch and a really heavy uh, steel table and they actually heated the, the steel and then placed it in a hole in the steel table and were able to bend it. And it only took them about 10 minutes to do that for me. So I think this is going to be a permanent fix for the lathe and actually it's really stiffened up the pedal mechanism significantly I've noticed. So I think that's going to be a much better fit. There's another problem I'm having as well and that is there's a little bit of movement between the flywheel and the axle. And what I mean by that is you can see there's a little bit of play from the actual hub to the axle. And what I have right now is a quarter inch pin that is drilled through the, the, uh, the hub and also the steel shaft. And there's enough play there that it's actually sort of wallering out the holes here in the in the steel flange and I really don't know the fix for that I'm not a steel worker and I just don't know the best way to fix that I mean I think it's gonna last a long time still but eventually I'll probably have to replace the steel flange um, as it's gonna sort of uh, um, I think the flange is a softer steel than the axle and it's gonna eventually wear it down I'm going to have to replace that. So if you if you know of a way that I could fix that, I, I would I would really appreciate the help. I, I know there's a lot of people who have more experience in this type of thing than I do. So if there's something you that you can suggest that I could do, I'd really appreciate it. You can actually hear that clunking noise is is the play between the axle and the flywheel. There's no doubt that the pedal is much stiffer now that I've replaced the, the crank mechanism. I feel like I'm using less effort 
to create the same amount of uh, turning speed of the lathe. The main way that I realized that there was a problem was when I was hitting the when I was pushing down on the pedal, it felt mushy. It didn't feel like there was a stiff, um, a, 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 you know, when you pushed on the pedal, it didn't feel stiff and it didn't feel like the energy was being transferred to the flywheel. And it's a little bit difficult to show you with just turning it with my hand, but under the pressure of my foot, it was really turning quite a bit. So I can, I can wiggle it you know, just by turning it like this, but under the pressure of, of hitting it with my foot, it was definitely spinning this within the offset block. The problem I had with the crank was a little bit of a setback yesterday, but uh, it was a uh, fairly, fairly easy fix, so I'm happy to have that repaired, and now I can get back to work on the chisel handle uh, that we're working on. So anyhow, I'll uh, post that video soon. But uh, thanks again for watching the video today and I'll see you in the next one.